guys, so we are in King Limptic's tomb. I mean, Leork. Leork. We're in King Leork's tomb. <laughs> I really actually hate this guy. Um, he's a tough fight, for sure. Uh, I forget what he's like in this version, though. I don't remember having too much trouble with him. But I think I used Holy Bolt on him or something. So we'll see how things go in this part, or this playthrough actually, since this is a totally different playthrough. Uh, maybe it will be a little harder, maybe it will be a little easier. We'll see. His crown's pretty good, really, so... You know, there's, it's kind of worth fighting him, even if only for that. Now one thing about the Butcher's Cleaver is that it's uh, really fragile. So I might have to go get it repaired before we actually fight my work. Now axes do tend to be stronger against undead. Like they're not great, but they're better than like you know, sword or something, which only really does half damage. I think axes do full damage. Not quite as good as, like, clubs and stuff, though, which I think get a 50% bonus or something. I think axes get a bonus against demons, though, so that's good. We'll just let these guys come out. If our axe starts breaking, we'll just stop fall back a little bit and do what we can. Oh, I remember he actually raises skeletons quite frequently, which is something I think he did in um, Vanilla Diablo as well. Where he corpse explosions, that's what it is. That's always fun. Oh, what are we whooping his ass? Well, Kingly works. I'll find your son. No, yeah, that's really comforting hearing a guy with it. Like this guy's voice. Uh, Don't worry, they work. I'll find your son. That's not uh, that's not creepy at all. I maybe that's why Leor can't rest. <laughs> like afraid this dude is gonna find his son. Um, yeah, we. Man, we friggin' stomp like we're a shit. I mean, we are a little over-leveled, as I said before, but... Uh, still... I'm really... <laughs> I'm enjoying this character so much more. Um, you know, I kind of have, like, a better understanding of it, too. And I think it's kind of reflected in how um, I do things. I really would like to... Like, I, I really would like to know, um... What I did wrong with the Necromancer. I think it might have been my vitality. I probably should have had much more of it as was recommended to me, and I should have listened. But at the same time, like, I, I don't. Like, I just can't. I don't think that was the only issue. It was just something strategically that I was doing wrong. Maybe. Along with maybe my equipment. You know. Because we were just talking about a few points, really. I think maybe there would be, have been like a, a 50 point difference between, uh, in vitality between my necromancer and one that just put purely to the vitality. I don't necessarily think that would make a really dramatic difference early on at least, but maybe I'm wrong. We're looking pretty good here though. Of course we'll open up this, um, secret room in here. I'll also check this out. This is good. We'll probably have to come back down for all the loot, actually. And interestingly, like, the axe didn't start breaking. And I was, when I was playing, um, that hardcore run I did of Diablo 1 on Sony PlayStation, and sorry if you can hear that, uh, that power tool out there. That's Quite loud, um, but 
Uh, yeah, when I was doing that, I was uh, uh, pondering how the uh, durability system actually works. Like, I think maybe the game checks to see if you lose durability when you use the weapon. And there's like a, a chance that you lose durability, it's like a percentage or something. Wow. So what it's, can I do it's a little you? random. Hello, my friend. Get all the shit Stay I got in But yeah, I took this axe and like cleared out most of level three. We're all of level three, but like about halfway through I had to go and get it repaired, even though I had just repaired it. So I'm thinking it must be kind of random and I had a wow. bad streak. What can I do for you? Uh, maybe I should sell a couple things. Like, we're getting a lot of stuff. We need money, so... And I'll sell a few of these things. I'll keep this. Uh, armor class 8 hit steel 6% life. I think I'll put that on. Why not? See if there's anything good here. Not really. That's kind of nice, but what we have is better. Raven's Ring of Zest. Alright. So we'll go on here. Put this here. I could have actually just equipped the Undead Crown right away. I forgot about that because I have one laying in the uh, in the shared inventory over there. Which you can't see right now, but it's there. The curse of our king is past, but I fear that it was only part of Okay, so we know all that. We know what he says. I'm sorry if you don't. But yeah, so I have a lot of good stuff in here. I'm actually going to um, publish a save well, what um, can so I do people can you? use it if they would like to. I mean, it's not amazing, wonderful stuff. Like, you know, you get on like the highest difficulties, but uh, it would actually be useful for someone who's starting out. Because, of course, you know, the best items, uh, what they did was the, uh, the developer put like a level cap on things. So you're not going to be able to wear the best items right off the bat anyway. Um, unlike in, in Vanilla, where I used to put like Rings of the Zodiac and uh, the full plate mail and stuff like that on a level 1 character <laughs> when starting a new game. Um, none of that here. You have to level up. You gotta do it the old fashioned way. But that's kind of cool because it makes like those set items and the other things, um, you know, a little more useful. Some of the uniques and stuff that you find are, you know, have more purpose. I know it's kind of like an artificial way of doing it. But it, it you know, it opens up some avenues. Like, oh, you know, if I start a new character, maybe I can build them around, like, this specific set of equipment early on. And, you know, then later on I can go into this. Maybe there's higher level versions of this set or, you know, this unique that I like, you know, maybe it has a higher level counterpart or something. So, you know, it's not a bad thing, really. So that's about it for King Leorx too I mean, Yeah, we didn't really get anything interesting aside from the Undead Crown. And I think I can just, uh, probably save to end this episode here. Because I'm really just going to go into level 4 and clear that out. And then maybe when we get to level 5 and we have some very interesting stuff that's going to actually be kind of challenging. Um, hopefully. We'll see. I don't want to be too challenged though. I don't want another Necromancer playthrough, dear god. But um, yeah, when we get to level 5 we, we might encounter some interesting stuff. Um, like the Arkeen Valor fight. And, uh, yeah, so I'll probably do that. It'll probably be the next video. So thank you so much, guys. I will be back with more. And until next time, good luck and happy gaming.